What's up guys? Cece back with another video and for today's video we're talking about my favorite topic. It's the Sephora VIB sale event and I got some products for y'all. Really talking about corporate and productivity and just how we're advancing our careers, how we're thinking about our careers as black women in corporate America. So what's up y'all? CC back with another video and this is probably my very most favorite video to film for you guys throughout the year. Sephora has their VIB sale twice a year now and one in the spring. We are now at the fall sale. The sale starts on 1027 if you are VIB Rouge like me and I will put the information for the sale right here on the screen but it starts on 1027 so of course I got to give y'all my recommendations for the sale. Now this this is part one so I will have a part two coming part one will fo focus mostly on products that I have got since the last time I did a recommendations video and then or products I've used since the last time I've done a recommendations video and then part two will focus mainly mainly on some of my absolute favorite like tried and true products that I think you guys should get that I've probably already spoken to you about before and then we're also going to go over my cart and what I plan to get at the event so that's what we're doing today hopefully you guys enjoy sit back relax get yourself a little popcorn because it's probably going to be a long video and let's jump right into it. All right, I'm gonna start with the one random product that I have sitting here, and that is the Touchland Power Mist Hand Sanitizer. Now, I love this sanitizer so much. This isn't something that I would normally get from Sephora, but I find that when I use hand sanitizer, my hands just get super dry, and you have to use a lotion on top of that, and if you wash your hands a lot or sanitize your hands a lot, like, ugh, they just get icky and dry and cracked, and we're getting into that time of year where that will probably happen I find that this hand sanitizer is so moisturizing they have so many different flavors and it's just so moisturizing it smells so good I do not have to put lotion on my hands after I use this sanitizer which is pretty awesome so I love this guy it's a little pricey for a sanitizer I'm not gonna lie it's ten dollars that is pricey not overall but pricey when we talk about a sanitizer so you know to get a little bit of cash off would be very very nice but this is yeah the touch lamp Power Mist, definitely my favorite. Okay, so I was good this year and I have everything broken up into categories. So we're gonna start with the nail category. Now, speaking of that, I forgot to put my two nails back on. I was at the gym, popped two nails off, um, cause I ran into <laughs> the damn weight and popped two damn nails off. I'm so upset about that. But my favorite nails by far are sold at Sephora and it is the Glamnetic Nails. So they sell not only the nails, but they also sell the extra nail glue. And this is just the larger bottle because the boxes do come with nail glue. Now, these are my absolute favorite press on nails. They last me two weeks every single time I put them on, except for when I run into <laughs> weights at the gym. And these have already been on for like a week and some change anyway, so they were probably getting ready to come off, but yeah. These last me for two weeks with the standard glue that comes in the box. These are press on nails, not gel -X. You literally just have to put the glue on your nails and put it, you know, pop the nail on and takes 15 minutes, last me two weeks. It's perfect. I am never, ever, ever going back to the nail salon and Glamnetic is part of the reason for that. So they're selling those at Sephora. They have so many different styles and lengths and colors. So I would check them out. Let's move into hair. I usually don't feature hair products, but um, I have found these two, which are both black owned brands, by the way, at Sephora. I have found these two to be so amazing for my hair, my natural hair. And this is the first one is the Sunday to Sunday Edge Flourish Daily Nourishing Serum Infused with Biotin. So this is what this bottle looks like. This is my second bottle of this, and I use this a lot. I use it on my edges, but I also use it to help me grease my scalp because it has this handy dandy little um, spout here, and you can get right in between them braids, them cornrows underneath this wig, and grease that scalp. So I like to put this like 
on my scalp, but I also like to focus it and massage it into my edges as well. I find that my edges have started thinning because I do wear wigs a lot. I wear my hair in the same style quite often and it's usually cornrowed to the back with a wig on top of it. So I find that that has started to wreak havoc on my edges a little bit. So this has been helping to regrow my edges. Now, natural hair, y'all know I'm 4C hair type. It gets tangled. I mean, it starts looking a little crazy. So this pattern detangling nectar, y'all, I use this on my hair. I use this on my daughter's hair. And this is the best detangler. Between this and then I have the melanin one that's also a black owned brand. And that one is sold in Ulta. I don't think it's sold in Sephora. If it is, I'll link it um, along with this because that is also another favorite of mine. But this pattern beauty, um, ugh, this pattern beauty detangling nectar is just so good. My daughters, my son, they have hair like me and when we need to detangle so we can do some hair, um, this is my go-to. It just makes the hair so much softer. You can comb through it and it's real, I mean, that's a feat to say you can comb through my 4C hair, but you can comb through it when you use that. I will never detangle my hair without that again. Okay, we made it through hair. Let's move into skincare. I have several skincare items that I am dying to show you. The first one, you guys will see this in an upcoming empties video too. This is the Fenty Skin Fat Water Hydrating Milky Toner Essence. So if you have been using Fenty Skin, then you will see the Fat Water Toner in a regular version and then you'll also see it in this milky version this is the latest version that i've tried love it i love how hydrating it is for my skin it just feels so good going on it feels like a watery moisturizer to me and it just my skin loves it and just absorbs it so well and i'm i love fenty skin as you guys know most of their products work so well for me and this was another hit as you can see it's completely gone so this was definitely a hit and will be repurchased along with the Fenty the mask the cookies and clean um, purifying mask that's another favorite of mine that you guys would have saw in my last empties that I absolutely love that I feel like you guys should pick up if you're looking for some new skincare products now with that I have been in love and obsessed with this Kiehl's truly targeted acne clearing solution and let me tell you I have not been in love with this for myself but my nine-year-old daughter is starting to suffer from acne when I turned nine and I was in the third grade my skin started breaking out and it did not stop until I was about 17 16 I mean it was a long stint there where I just had horrible breakouts and I want to do all that I can I think I'm going to take her to the dermatologist soon but I want to do all that I can to ensure that that is not as much of as much of a concern for her as it was for me because that really sucks as a teenager it's already awkward and then you have your skin to worry about on top of that so I've been trying to find products um, at the you know just over-the-counter products that work and this is seemed to work really well for her she has pimples that just pop up and I pop this on those pimples twice a day and they go down so quickly now it's not keeping them down but but the ones when they pop up they go away really fast because of this and like I said I've been using it twice a day with her in the morning and at night and that seems to be doing the trick for the pimples that keep popping up so if you have problems with you know pimples that pop up this is a great product just to get them out of there quickly next I have this Alpine Beauty um, wild huckleberry eight acid polishing peel another favorite of mine this actually came in PR and I had never heard of this brand before and then as I was reading through all of their materials I figured out that they were in Sephora and this scrub y'all I've been using this scrub so much and it it it's it's a it's not a super abrasive scrub where you feel like you're rubbing your skin off, but it's a very gentle scrub that, that you can use. And I use this about three or four times a week just to really try to detoxify my face. And I find that my skin has just been a lot brighter and just really beautiful since softer and beautiful since I have started using this Alpine Beauty 
was it called a peel? I don't think it's called a scrub. A polishing peel is what it's called. All right, a few more skincare products. Sunscreen obviously is a must. Even though we're coming out of summer, you still need your sunscreen in the fall and the winter. Even though you're a black girl, you still need your sunscreen in the fall and in the winter. Just PSA if you didn't know. So I love the Super Goop sunscreen. I have it in the watery lotion. I have it in the, um, the spray the sunscreen facial spray and then I also have it in this mineral stick and I found that this mineral stick worked really well for me this summer we was outside this summer baby okay I was traveling and I found that having this on the go stick was so helpful especially when I was like at a pool or something like that on the beach and you have this stick and you can just really quickly put it on different parts of your body I don't use this as much on my face because it leaves it like just a tad bit of a white cast but when I need something like I'm like oh my neck feels like it's burning or like my hair is up the back of my neck feel like it feels like it's burning and I need something like that this stick came in handy I used it for my kids I used it for myself and it, it worked all right not exactly skincare but lip care I have three products here I actually want to talk about I actually have four products that I want to talk to you about but I can't find my K skin lip mask for some reason but I'm gonna pop a photo right here the K skin lip mask is so good black owned brand and it is such a moisturizing lip mask. It's one that I use when I'm going to bed. I'll use it at night before I go to bed and my, my lips stay soft. They stay hydrated throughout the night. Amazing. Similar to that, the Fenty Skin, y'all knew this was coming, the Plush Pudding Lip Mask. This is my third bottle, third? I think this is my third bottle of this Fenty lip mask and I have another one sitting over there for backup. This has been my by far my favorite lip mask of the year. I think this came out last December and I've been obsessed with this ever since. I actually think this shouldn't be in this video because I'm pretty sure I would have talked about this in the last recommendations video. But either way, here we go baby, here we go. So that's that. And I think they have a set. They came out with another flavor. So I think they have a holiday set that comes with this flavor and then like a strawberry or cherry flavor. Y'all already know that's in my cart. Spoiler alert. Last two lip care items, the Refi, this is the Lip Buff. So this is really nice because I'm always looking for something to exfoliate my lips, especially in the winter time. This has the exfoliating brush already attached to it. So you just squeeze a little out and you exfoliate your lips right here on the surface. Now, for some people that's kind of icky because, you know, if you have dead skin cells, they're staying on there. I rinse it off after I use it, but I mean, if it's just you using it, girl, it's just your skin. You all right. Um, as long as you ain't sharing it, it's cool. So I really like this. Refi, they have a few products that I really love. But I've been obsessed with that one as well. And then lastly for lip care, the Super Goop um, SPF 30 Lip Balm with Acai. Super Goop is definitely a winning brand for me when it comes to sun care. My lips also burn like the rest of my face and my body. So I need to make sure I have something on my lips that has SPF in it. And Super Goop has been the winner for me. So I love taking this. I've taken this all summer with me traveling. I just use it on a day to day throughout the day as well like I know well if you guys watch my vlogs you should know I don't wear makeup every day I wear makeup probably once or twice a week and so this is what I have with me when I don't have on makeup or the fancy the K skin stays at my nightstand but these two are they stay with me all the time okay let's get into the makeup because I know that's what y'all came here for right so Okay, before we get into the makeup, we're going to talk about the makeup tools that I've been loving from Sephora. Um, and let me tell you, the Sephora brand makeup brushes have, like, they've just, they're up there for me. They increased their stock value with me. And so the first thing that I've loved this year from Sephora brand is the actual powder puffs. Hello. Let's, let's talk about that because the powder puffs are awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, y'all. My microphone's whole ass died on me. So 
I was able to fix my nails. So now I have on a full hand of nails. So let's keep going with this video. Let's keep on with the brushes. I talked about the powder puff. Now we're gonna get into the brushes. Sephora brand, like I was saying, has been just everything for me. So this is the Pro Highlight number 90 brush. And these brushes are not cheap. They are like 20 and $30. I think the face brushes are around 30 and the eye brushes are around 20. So I love to get a couple every time the sale comes around and just, you know, get more and more as the sale happens. So this has definitely been a favorite. I don't use it as a highlighting brush though. I use it like today I've done a no makeup makeup look you guys will see this video very very soon and when I'm using just concealer on my face and no foundation I use this to blend out my concealer it's so soft I love it so so much along with the number 57 this is the pro concealer brush I have three of these because I am that obsessed with this brush it blends out concealer under the eyes like nobody's business I'm normally a sponge girly but I don't know like I've been searching high and low for the perfect concealer brush and this is definitely at the top of my list right now and then the last brush I wanted to show you guys is not a Sephora brand brush. It is a Danessa Myricks brush. This is the Yummy Face 1.0 brush and like this is such a nice brush. I think it's new to her collection but as you can see there's dust coming off of it because I've used it so much but it's so pretty and I use it for blush and also for bronzer and it works like a dream. All right let's move into the good stuff the makeup. So I have this stuff categorized out as well. One thing I wanted to mention that wasn't on my original list to talk about however I'm wearing it today it's like my second time wearing it and I actually really enjoy it. It's the Merit Beauty. This is the Tinted Lip Oil in Sangria. I think I wore this like last year a couple of times but I didn't remember how much I liked it and this is my second time this season wearing it and this is so beautiful. I went for a little like monochromatic moment today with the hair, the lips, the shirt, all of that and this just went on top of my lip color so nicely. So this is so pretty. I would definitely encourage you to try it. I think they have several colors. Merit Beauty is one of those kind of subtle brands that I don't hear a lot of people talking about but that is just fire like everything I try for Merit Beauty is fire so that's that let's go into primers I have two primers that I think are amazing and you should check out during this sale one is the one size secure the sweat dry till dawn primer I think you guys probably knew that I was going to talk about this primer just because I wear it so much especially this summer this was my holy grail because it kept my makeup flawless in place everything so we love a good primer around here next is the Smashbox photo finish control mattifying primer this primer this one makes my makeup look so good, last all day. It is the perfect base for me for every day. This stuff is really, really like heavy duty. This is really nice for everyday wear and makeup. So I interchange these two a lot, but this, this one has definitely been a nice front runner for me. Let's talk about the base of the face. Arguably, the, probably the most important part of makeup. There's some foundations that came out that, that, that I don't know, your girl been loving. And if y'all been watching, then y'all know what I'm talking about. The first one I think I discovered no, maybe it was this one. This is one that I think you need. And I now that I think about it, I think this was in the last recommendations video, but whatever. This is the House Labs Tri Clone Skin Tech Foundation. And I have found that I love mixing this foundation with so many others. It works so well. I'm in the shade A42. No, I'm sorry. 340 medium cool is my shade and I find that this foundation works so well and plays so well with others and just looks so good on the skin. My skin looks amazing and I find that when I didn't use the House Labs powder and I just used the foundation with my regular makeup, this looks so good too. I gotta be careful with it in the summertime because this really wasn't oily girl friendly for me, but it looks so good. All right, let's keep this train rolling. I have the Makeup by Mario foundation. This is the Surreal Skin foundation. I'm in the shade 18W, and this was definitely another standout product for me this year. I wear this foundation a lot. 
I wear it by itself, I mix it. I've been really into mixing my products lately and mixing this foundation has definitely been one of the things that I've been doing. I like mixing like two light covering foundations that have different textures. That seems to work well for me and look really good on my skin. But this looks really good without anything. This foundation has like those like little shimmer flecks in it. Not really shimmer, but it gives your skin kind of a little sheen, I guess. Not a sheen, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's super natural. It makes your skin just look extra beautiful and extra bright. This is, this is that girl for me. Along with um, the Glossier. This is one of my newest favorites. This is the Glossier um, Stretch Fluid Foundation in the shade Medium Tan. Another one that I mix, and I mix these two together a lot. Like, I mix these two together a whole lot. The House Labs, the Glossier, they look so good. They complement each other so well, but this also looks great by itself. I did an entire wear test in one of my recent vlogs. So I'll link that video, but if you're looking for a new foundation, this is for combo and oily girls as well this is a great one and then the last one I have here I'm not going to say it is an absolute favorite for me but I think it's worth checking out and worth trying just for the record and just for ease of use and beauty on the skin it's the Fenty Beauty um, Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick now again not my all-time favorite like I could actually do without this one however for ease of use and how beautiful it looks on the skin if you don't have the same skin type as I do you may want to check this out while it's on sale you may actually really like it it has a lot of positive reviews actually all right so for concealers I have three concealers here and if you've been watching me if you know you know um, the first one is the Bobbi Brown skin corrector stick this is actually not a new product at all but I just got my hands on it and started using it and I find myself color correcting a lot more just because it's in an easy to use stick I can color correct real quick and then go ahead and blend it out and put my foundation on top I also love the house labs concealer that's the concealer I'm wearing today as my base and this concealer has been so beautiful for me this one's in the shade 40 medium deep golden it is skin in toned so it you know I, it's not a brightening concealer for me I didn't get it in a brightening shade I almost think I want to I'm debating that for the the sale if I should just go ahead and get it in a more brightening shade and then I can use them both together and then I have the makeup by Mario concealer this one takes the cake for me for brightening under the eyes this one is in the shade number 360 and again this is more so to brighten underneath my eyes give me that more awake look i love and so i love 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 these concealers okay y'all we cruising we getting there we are getting there um three brow gels here i've been using all of these interchangeably and i can't tell which one i love more i can't find my patrick todd brow gel it's around here somewhere i'll pop a photo right there that's one that i definitely need in my life i love it yeah that's that girl same with the rare beauty brow gel again i need this in my life i love it i've been taking it with me packing it with me all summer on my trips we love her and then we also love the milk makeup kush brow lamination gel like all of these again i've been using them all interchangeably they all work so well dropped it they all work so well I couldn't decide which one I wanted to show you guys so I just decided to talk about all three my brow hair stay in place with all of them all day it doesn't leave my brows crunchy or nasty or flaking like they're just really beautiful so I love those Whew, Jesus let's go into blushes and bronzers I actually only have one bronzer for you guys and that's the Pat McGrath um, skin fetish divine bronzer I actually have that on today in this look and this is what it looks like I have the shade bronze mahogany and I think there's a couple shades darker than this that is available but um, I love this bronzer it blends out so well the the texture is very soft 
and just really blendable and I, I love that in a powder so um, Pat McGrath you know Pat McGrath makes really great products so we love a good Pat McGrath bronzer blush is another one that I just really couldn't decide so I have four different formulas here for you one being a cream formula I actually have two cream formulas but the first one is the Danessa Myricks blushes these blushes are so pretty and I think they have a holiday set with different types so you definitely the Danessa Myricks brushes are definitely so so gorgeous they're blendable they're everything I love them another cream formula is the makeup by Mario this is the soft pop blush stick in earthy pink and this is a nice like neutral ish blush it's pink but it blends out to like a more of a neutral shade and it just leaves a nice wash of color on the cheeks look at that very subtle shade you get on the cheeks when you blend this out i love stick blushes also because they're easy to apply and place where you want them which is really really nice you guys know my rare beauty liquid blushes would definitely be in this video I mean these are just everything they blend well they have so many different really cute colors and these are the be best liquid blushes I have ever tried hands down these cannot cannot be beat these are these cannot be beat the one powder blush formula that I've been really loving that I wanted to show you guys is the House Labs Color Fuse Blush. This one's in the shade Watermelon Bliss. This is the only one that I have, but I might get another color. I don't know. I don't need any more blushes, but this blush is very pretty. It's very pigmented, but it's also very blendable and you can kind of dial back the pigment if you so choose. I promise y'all we just got a few more products. Let's go in with these setting sprays. I have two setting sprays that I've been obsessed with. The Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray and it came out with a mini like off rip. That is that's my type of setting spray. This definitely keeps me matte all day. It just helps my makeup lock and stay in place. And then this guy the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. This. This is my favorite setting spray. And the reason this is my favorite setting spray is because I use it two ways. I use it underneath my makeup just to um, act as a primer with the primer that I put on. And then I use it on top along with a mattifying setting spray in order to keep my makeup really locked, really gripped in place. And these two work together so, so, so well. I told y'all I'm in my product mixing era and so I feel like I mix everything now and those two are definitely a winning combination. Mascara, the only mascara, um, I, I've been using others because I've been using the one size mascara too, but the one that tops it for me is the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is the Hella Thick Mascara. We love her. She's a god. My eyelashes are super thick when I don't have on extensions. They're super thick. They, it's voluminous. It's um, lengthening. I couldn't think of the word. It's lengthening. It's voluminous. It does all the things. Super black. We love that formula. Not a super wet formula, but not super dry. It's like right there in the middle. And then for a liner, the Urban Decay 24-7 Inks Liner. I used this liner the other day after not using it for a few weeks and I forgot how much I love it. I don't line my lash line all the time, but the pigment on this liner, just how black it is, it's like a, it's not matte and it's not a shiny black. So it's like right there in the middle and it just looks very, very, very gorgeous on the eyes. Easy to get a little flick, a little wing. And I love the, the length of the tip. Of the liner too, it's a little bit longer of a tip and that I feel like is easier to get the shape that you want and just get it super precise. So we love that. Last but not least, powders. I was gonna say primers, powders. I have four powders here to show y'all. And if you've been watching me, you should know which ones they are. Of course, we have the One Size Powder in Ultra Pink. This has been my top powder to bake underneath the eyes just gets my under eyes super bright and super pretty this is one of those setting powders that just smooths everything out under there and you ain't got nothing to worry about i have 
every shade of this except for the dark shade I have I think it's called honey I have the translucent and then I have the pink and this one size powder does not disappoint I've been talking to you guys about this since this powder came out and it was only in the translucent I've been through like three of those little guys of the translucent powder and I'm starting to go through the pink because I just love it so much we have the melt this is the glaze skin sheer finishing powder by melt cosmetics I got mine in the shade tan this is a unique powder because it doesn't have coverage or anything like that this is just strictly a finishing powder it's not setting anything in place you put this on on top of everything else and uh, the best way I can describe it is that it gives you like that filtered finish so you know when you're on Instagram and you're putting a filter on your photo and it just just kind of pulls everything together and smooths everything out that's what this does and I instantly see the difference when I use this and I use it like all the time pretty much in every makeup look so we love we love her the makeup forever HD skin matte velvet this is another favorite of mine now this is a foundation powder so this one here will add coverage it will smooth everything out but it'll add coverage and it'll add like full coverage so if you're not looking for full coverage this isn't the powder you want to use but I put this on top of my foundations just to give me extra coverage because that's what I like I also like to take it with me and use it as a touch-up powder as well Last but not least, baby, last but not least is the brand new Sephora brand. This is the Matte Powder Foundation. And all of the Sephora brand products, I don't know if I mentioned it, but all of these Sephora brand products are actually 30% off during the event versus 20% off. So this is another powder that I use as a setting powder for my entire face. You can obviously wear it by itself or you can set your liquid foundations or cream foundations with it. This is going to give you that coverage. This is going to give you like all of it, right? Because this is a foundation powder, isn't a setting powder. So if you're not looking for extra coverage or a lot of extra coverage, I wouldn't use this, but it's mattifying. It's beautiful on its own. It's beautiful paired with other foundations. She's that girl. I feel like I've been talking forever, y'all. <laughs> I feel like I've seriously been talking forever. I hope that was helpful for y'all. Those are all of the products that I have been loving since the last sale. Those products like have my heart. So again, all these products will be linked down below so you can start to put them in your cart for the sale. Remember to shop early because things do sell out if you're getting like a super popular product. All right, make sure you guys stay tuned for part two. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.